It's interesting. This is a picture of James Hay. He's a descendant. And he stands next to the Hecla Moro in the Chickamauga Battle. This one right here is uh, the 15th Wisconsin Monument, also in Chickamauga. This one here, I'll go with him last. Now, this one right here is uh, in Madison, the capital of uh, mm -hmm. Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. And you know, you think about it, not, not any statue gets in front of the Capitol building. No, not her. His did. So he's very well respected in the state of Wisconsin. That's his statue right there. This is the one at the Heck Memorial Park in Muskego. Yours truly standing next to him. Although it does a vagrant. Yeah, yeah, it's some guy off the street there. Right? Homeless person. Yeah. So, anyway, and I, I, I didn't have room to put the other ones, but they also have a moral statue of him in Lear, Norway. Uh, and I think that's about it, but uh, very well respected throughout the world. Yeah, a number of years ago at our uh, uh, district meeting for Sons of Norway, they did a special on Colonel Hay. And I know that there were a number of us from oh, Michigan and Illinois and, and some of us that were born in Minnesota. We, we kind of sat back as they were uh, telling about how great the Wisconsin uh, regiment was and all the Norwegians and how we were all heroes. But, and I think they were selling at the same time a book about uh, Colonel Haig, but their emphasis was not on the battle, not on the soldiers' type, but how great these Wisconsin Norwegians were. And so I, I think we kind of sat back and did not buy the book. I wish I had. I did. Anyway, it may have been this one. This is put out by Norwegian American Association. You know, it has the letters in there. Uh, there's another book. And you're all welcome to look at them. I brought my tech collection. Uh, this is a small book. Actually, this is uh, something that uh, young, young people can read. It's uh, fairly small. So this one's called Hegg Noveletta by Steve Forty. It's in a novel format. Very well done. Kind of gives a story about Hegg. Well, you mentioned uh, Colonel uh, Fremont. Is that the same Fremont that went to California? Yes. James Fremont. He was through the yeah, he became a politician. He got in trouble with some of the other bigwigs. Yeah, 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 he did. After he lost in 19, 1856. Well, Fremont went down to uh, 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 California during the Mexican War. Mm -hmm. That's the same one, though. Yeah, same okay. call. Yeah. It was back. That's a, that's a war that's forgotten. Uh, Mexican War 15 years before the Civil War. Right, right. By the way, to give you an idea of the influence of the slavery issue during that time, in the Mexican-American War, if that slavery was not an issue, get this, get this, we, Mexico may have been become part of the United States, but the North would not allow the South to incorporate, because remember the Missouri Compromise, everything right. south of it? Well, they in no way wanted all those uh, areas of Mexico right. annexed as a slave country, because that's exactly what it would happen. So they put a squash out and said, no Mexico in the United States. Can you believe that? <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, that, that's your uh, presentation. Now, I got some Civil War books, though, I'm going to bring Oh, okay. I mean, big <laughs> Charles and all kinds yeah, of stuff. Yeah, my brother, uh, Dr. Steensman out in Utah, he's like Civil War books. So he, he may call you. You never know. <laughs> he's, a, he's quite a guy. Right. I've been to most of the battlefields. Believe it or not, I haven't yeah, been to a lot of Virginia. Yeah. It's one of those things, you know, you pass through and it says, I need to spend a month in Virginia. So I don't like that. Yeah. The one in Vicksburg, we went through there one time. And it's a down group, but they have all the, the statues of all the states that were in the battle of the uh, cemetery here in Vicksburg. Were you there? Yeah, we went to Pittsburgh. That's yeah. a beautiful part yeah, as well. Yeah, but it was in Yeah, yeah. You want to walk around and go see where some of the, uh, yeah. you know, events occurred. Yeah, Pittsburgh, such a sad, sad thing. I don't know. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, you guys, nobody really is running that war. You know, they, okay. oh. Just a lot of big murder. Yeah. Yeah. Just a yeah. 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 Well, I think they didn't know what they got themselves into. Okay. okay, folks, we want to thank Bill Inyard for that. That was beautiful. Yeah. I'm going to send yeah. a copy of this tape to my brother in Utah. And uh, 
He's on a board of directors at Augustana. It's called the uh, Center for Western Studies. Who is this? My brother. Oh. He's on the board of directors, and they do a lot of uh, things on the Civil War and so forth and so on. So uh, he'll probably have some comments, I'm sure. And they'll all be very favorable. That's a wonderful thing. Okay, we're going to close.